I've noticed that we have 30 families directly involved right here in this complex that are now residing here and all within the community very close within five minutes and I noticed when visiting the homes that they're lonely and they wanted to interact so I figured if I put together a picnic today to share a meal and play and have fun with the children then they would come and everybody came. So what if there was not enough food? And he said, you better have a plan B, Carrie. That's right. <laughs> so I said, okay, my plan B, I said, I put out to all my friends and family, can you please cook halal food just in case? And they did. And so yesterday in two different kitchens, we had six Canadian women all come together and learn about halal food and how to cook it via Google and it was really interesting because none of us had ever cooked lamb before or knew the spices or knew how to cook the rice and we Googled and followed the instructions and it was simple. In general, people always talk about hospitality, how they welcome the strangers and this is well known and documented in history but uh, where I think everybody's surprised this is not only a Middle Eastern habit, this is a, this is a worldwide human thing. People come in here welcoming all the newcomers. Uh, make them feel like wonderful and I think you see now this is the first time engagement where you have both sides the new Canadian uh, the uh, the old Canadian per se they coming together and having fun and a sunny beautiful day like this now planning this and uh, but to see it all come together I'm just so feel so blessed and and honored that everybody came because all I did was knock on every door and say please come and I didn't know really due to language barrier if they would or not and to see it all start to come together today, it just brings tears to my eyes. It's so overwhelming.